the, I guess the first question is, is it everything we just talked about that's resulting in men not getting married? How do we solve this problem? Let's, what do you think? Incentives. I think that's the first, the first place you go. Um, when you're looking at, uh, if you're looking at women going into OnlyFans, I, I've, th I've talked about this with Andrew Wilson before, where it's, uh, we're saying, well, you know, how do you write the course of the ship, right? What, what do we do with that? Now that we have all this information, what are we going to do Promote with Promote OnlyFans. Um, well, the thing is, is that we need to find ways to disincentivize OnlyFans. We need to disinc we, we need to re-incentivize what, like, men getting back into doing things that are, like, more productive for themselves or following something that they can play to their strengths. Well, for, and the place that that begins is by removing those sedations from those guys. And nobody's going to do that at this I, point. I, no, I, everybody has no will to do that at this I point. I would say outright OnlyFans is a bad thing. I find it to be disgusting. I despise it. Mm -hmm. When it comes to porn, I mean, there are certainly people who use OnlyFans for legitimate reasons, but that, that's not the tendency for mm -hmm. what OnlyFans is. Uh, however, we're, we're experiencing an interesting sort of ideological bifurcation. OnlyFans is driving women to quit the workforce to become hookers. Mm -hmm. So there's numerous stories of women who are like, I was a nurse. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to do that. Now I'm a hooker. Yep. There, there are stories like, I was a police officer, and then I realized there's more money in being a hooker online. Mm -hmm. And uh, I say hooker because you're selling sex. And just because you put it on the phone as opposed to a brothel doesn't change anything as far as I'm yeah. concerned. Right. You're doing a peep show, you're doing a peep show, that's a hooker. So- uh, but the incentive is what keeps them going. My, my, but, Mike but, Sartain and I, we were on Access Vegas and we were interviewing this one, uh, was her name, Ava James. Ava James used to be a teacher, a special education teacher. Like she taught autistic children, you know, I think it was in Canada. But you, you think about this, you go through, I don't know how many years of college to get to the point where you can actually do something like that. And then you've got to have special education certification as that, as on top of that. How many student loans are you taking out so that you can be a special ed special needs teacher on top of everything else? You're paid maybe forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars as a starting salary if you're lucky. Okay, depending on what school system and where you where you get into, and you've just spent the last maybe six to eight years of your life to become that that teacher, and then you go, you know what? Fuck it. I think I'm going to be an OnlyFans person because, it, and now she's like a 0.01% top earner on OnlyFans, making millions of dollars and going, why did I spend the last six to eight years doing what I'm doing? Now, I'm not saying that all women are uh, can do that, but the possibility, the perception that it's a possibility for women to earn more money than they do as a nurse or as they do as a, uh, you know, a surgeon or an attorney or something like that. It's a much better, more lucrative prospect. So it this will, That's this the destroys marriage, destroys family, but the inverse, it takes women out of the workplace. Yes. It's an interesting. And, and, and jobs that are essential to a functioning society. But do you think that those jobs or could uh, be anyways, th th do you believe that there are jobs women should be the ones doing? Like nursing and teaching should be teachers. I don't, or no? I don't like to use the term "should." I think there are there are jobs that women naturally gravitate to because they have a natural proclivity because of female nature. If you look at the but, if but, you look but, at what but, women like major in, it's communication, it's psychology, right, right, right. it's sociology. My, my, my point, they are all HR. My point personnel. is: <laughs> is it a bad thing that we will no longer have female nurses and teachers? Maybe because the word "nurse" literally means the baby sucking on the the mother's boob. Is she, the baby's nursing? The word is what nurse, the, is the job is nurse. nurses don't do that. I think the word probably <laughs> comes <nurses> from <laughs> the history of females <laughs> taking care of sick people. Because yeah. that no, it's a bad thing for babies to not be suckling at their own mother's teeth. No, 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 hold and on. Nursing, hold on. It's, but Histor it's not a wait, good wait, wait, wait. historically. If the mother was unable to produce enough, a wet nurse, another woman in the town or village who was producing would nurse their baby for I'm them. talking about daycare. Uh, you, you, right. We've all seen the statistics yes, the term for daycare. Nurse is. Yes. Ma, yeah, <laughs> ladies go, the term but, but, nurse as a profession. No, it would be but, great to get women out of nursing other people's kids back home to nursing their so, kids. But, but, You've so, all seen this. So let's go back to the, the, the question I have is, with OnlyFans, I certainly see it's destroying family. It's it's sedating men as you described it. Mm -hmm. It's creating these addictions, video games, uh, uh, and and uh, it's not just video games. There's drugs, alcohol too, but video games certainly mm -hmm. have have, an, have this effect. Do we want some jobs in society to be done by women, or should it just be the workforce is male and the women are at home with the kids and helping raise the family? But see, they're not at the home. latter. Well, for, for me, okay. Well, yeah. if we're gonna say shoulds, then the latter. But what I'm saying is that we're in a position right now where that's kind of a moot point. If you want to, you want to write the course of the ship. We have to work with what we have right now. I've talked to uh, Zuby about this, where he was saying, I don't understand why OnlyFans is so popular. You I mean it's just basically pornography? You can go. 
to porn for free if you wanted to. And I told him, said, it's not because of that. It's because of the connection yeah. that those men believe that they can have with that person that's yes. on the other. If they're not paying for the sex. There has to be a sexual element oh, to look, it. Don't look. get me wrong. But the, the top earners are not, you know, jet screaming hootie queens with blue eyes and big and, and look like the, the stereotypical Playboy model. They look like the girl that's attainable. But they but, look like the, the the seven seven and a half, not the ten. And so they want to have that uh, the girlfriend experience, but they're looking for that connection. Yes. And you, so you asked me like you you said, well, what about the incels? What about the hikikomoris and everything else? They're not. They, they can they can all they want to, but they want to have that but that connection that they're not getting because those women uh, are in are doing OnlyFans. And so a lot of OnlyFans that we know about is mm -hmm. that connection, you're correct. The women will say, hey, if you give me X, I will give you Y. Mm -hmm. And a lot of what's being uh, bought is personalized content. Yeah. So you are it's getting the connection. Engagement meeting. Can I, can but, I answer real, your real, real quick, there was a, a really interesting and disturbing thing with ASMR, where you can probably look this up, ASMR girlfriend sleeping next to you. And so young women, mm -hmm record themselves pretending to sleep and making noises that women don't actually make like anybody who's actually slept next to literally any other person you either hear light snoring heavy snoring or nothing at all maybe an occasional fart or something but the noises that you hear in this girlfriend asmr are like light moans and what they scare the shit out of me <laughs> but they're but what they're the reason why they get so much traffic on this and the reason why a lot of what they can sell to young men is this is because it simulates personal connection mm -hmm. and relationship and that's terrifying parasocial i think they call it now yeah. it's a new term floating 